Good morning, Tigers. Welcome to week six of remote learning. Six weeks we've been doing this. It's crazy that it's been that long. Uh, but at least May is here. And so because summer is just around the corner, it seemed like a good idea to shoot this video at the end of the dock down in Avalon, where I told you we've been hunkered down here this whole time. And it's starting to heat up enough for us to enjoy life the way life is meant to be enjoyed down here. Beaches are closed, unfortunately, but um, at least we got this dock right at the end of our family vacation place. So check it out. Pretty beautiful, right? Um, coming up this week is just more action, remote learning action. So check out the middle school news page for the various fitness and extracurricular activities that are posted there each week. Also, don't forget to get out at night and do some stargazing, especially if you're trying to participate in the celestial scavenger hunt. Um, it's your chance to win a plot of land on the moon. And so make sure that you get outside and uh, look for those stars and planets. We'll talk to you soon, Tigers. Have a great week. Keep up the good work. Love you and miss you. Happy birthday, George Minchin, Holly Richard, Pierce Collins, Peter Manuel, Landon Rista, Harrison Cervetio, Taylor Hackett, Kate Tucker, Maisie Bechtel, Teddy Lansing, and Brianna Baldwin. I don't know, but I've been told someone here was growing old. Here's to you, birthday friends, wiggle and wave until the end. One more year around the sun. Hope your birthday's lots of fun. Oh yeah, happy day. How old are you today? Good morning, friends. I'm not sure if it's Monday or Tuesday, but happy May. Monday is, of course, Star Wars Day. Mmm, yes, celebrate we must. May the 4th be with you. Tuesday is Cinco de Mayo. Originally, it was established to celebrate the Mexican Army's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Since then, the day has become a chance to celebrate Mexican-American culture. Wednesday is Nurses Day, a great day to cheer on these heroic women and men. Thursday is School Nurses Day. Hi, middle school. Miss you. It's a wonderful opportunity to let Ms. Del Vecchio know how much we all appreciate her. Friday is World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. There are currently 97 million volunteers working with this international organization. It was founded in 1863 to provide humanitarian aid around the world. On a lighter note, Friday is also No Socks Day. Yay! Finally, remember that next Sunday is Mother's Day. Let's be sure to show the mothers in our lives how much we love them. Have an awesome week, you wonderful tigers. Rock on. Hey everybody, Mrs. Bixler here. Hope you've got your chicken hat. And if you don't have a chicken hat, I hope you've got your father's sweaty tennis headband from 1987. And if you don't have that, I hope you have a flower crown. I know you've definitely got this. Because Thursday's crazy hat day. Whoop whoop. So find a fun hat, wear it, have fun. We love you. See you soon. Hi, middle school. So first, I just want to say everyone is doing such an awesome job with remote learning and using technology to learn and connect with others. So today, we are going to share a few tech tips because I know that you miss me and Mr. Rail's digital citizenship tips of the week. And we have a very special guest sharing a tech tip. It's Mr. Lede. And again, we are just sharing these reminders and tech tips because we care about all of you and we want you all to use technology responsibly and safe online. I just want to say thanks for having me. This has been uh, really cool that whenever our two departments can get together and we're thinking about kids and helping kids and I, I'm just honored to be a part of this uh, conversation today. So the first tip is that everything we post online stays there forever and once you post something you no longer have control over what someone might do with it. The second reminder is that if your online activity is concerning at all people can look up what you've been doing online or on a particular app. It's a great tip. Tip number two, if anyone is asking you to do anything that seems out of the ordinary, stand a certain way, eat something weird, jump at certain times, or say something backwards, and anything and all of that is probably going to be recorded and even posted. And the results could end up hurting you and others. So when we think about being an inclusive community, we do that in a good way. We want people to feel good about themselves. We don't want to trap anyone or do anything like that. Round this out, we're going to be talking about how you can protect yourself online with tip number three. So think about what websites and apps you're using. Are they age appropriate? Is there an 18 and older disclaimer? Um, do you have to be 13? I know most of the apps that you guys and girls are downloading, you have to be 13 and some of you might be lying about your age. Okay, you also have to worry about who you're talking to. Stranger danger, like that's a thing. So if you're going on to an open forum or a chat app, 
you are talking with complete strangers, so be aware they could be taking screenshots, they could be recording it. You don't know what they're gonna be doing with it. Mm -hmm. You've also gotta worry about the websites and the apps. Are they safe? Are they toxic? Are the people on those applications and on those websites, they have your best interest in mind? Mm -hmm. And how is this gonna influence your digital footprint, right? It might be hard for you guys to think towards the future, but really think about what you're doing on the internet and how it may affect your life in the future. Are you gonna regret posting that video or sending that tweet or making that TikTok? Um, it, it may be hard to visualize the future, but you really need to, to, to be cognizant and aware of what you're doing online because like we said, it's there forever. Thank you, Mr. O. I think that's such a great tip. You know, I think especially now that we're on our screen more than usual, that sometimes we just, our brain just kind of clicks, 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 and just, we're not careful. If you are watching this video and you need some help or some questions about something that you've heard, or maybe you know, of a friend that's using a website, or maybe you're not sure if you should be using a website or an app, I hope you always know that our doors are open, so you can always email myself, Mr. Rill, Ms. Wolf, Mrs. Moore, or any adult in the DCS community as we care about you so much. And we miss you, and we cannot wait to see you, and uh, see you all soon. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, you're welcome, thank Hi. you. All right, Tigers, it's Mr. Waller here. Uh, we've gone through five weeks of middle school trivia, so super excited to walk through the winners from this week's ocean creatures or sea creatures. Uh, in third place, we have Skylar Dress with a 78% with 44,300 points, so congratulations. In second place, uh, Mitchell Powell with a 90% uh, with 57,875 points. And in first place, Walker Ladela with 92%, 59,168 points. So congratulations to all three of you. Uh, when I asked you what you wanted Week six trivia to be, uh, uh, drum roll. I'm excited to announce that this week we are gonna have sports team logos, all right? Now, let's be honest. Uh, I'm probably not gonna choose a lot of NFL, NHL, uh, or MLB. I might throw some random ones in there, but uh, if you guys know me, I'm a big fan of the beautiful game, uh, the real football, right, soccer. So I'm gonna be throwing it wild and wide to uh, Europe leagues, South American leagues. Um, it'll be every sport. So it could be like Japanese baseball teams. Uh, it could be obviously soccer teams from around uh, the world. It could be cricket teams. It could be wild. So uh, go ahead and start playing some like random useless uh, sports logo trivias. Uh, and it's going to be amazing. I hope you all had a wonderful long weekend. The weather was incredible. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all on the Kahoot. Uh, this coming Friday at noon. All right, go Tigers. What's up, Tigers? Mr. Helstein here, inviting you to the first ever GCDS Trick Shot Championship. The idea is to have you submit some incredible trick shots. Use creativity, use spirit, use Tiger pride, but most importantly, make the shot. You're gonna submit your videos and we're gonna have our varsity coaches judge on the top three. Those top three will be put on Instagram and we'll have the whole community judge who the trick shot champion is. That winner, of course they're gonna get Tiger Pride gear, they're gonna get swag, they're gonna get everything that they need in terms of that, but more importantly, they're gonna get the bragging rights to be the first ever Tiger trick shot champion. So my question to you, do you have what it takes? Prove it. Sixth grade, off you go.